In today's Madden 21 video, I'm going to be showing you a unique running play from the Carolina Panthers offensive playbook, a play that I feel like is actually really, really powerful, not just because of the fact that it fits in with other plays from this playbook, but also because it really is a decent run as it, as itself. I mean, it really is. And so we're going to jump right into here, uh, and that is the play rpo sweep peak now um, if you've never met me before my name is cody and i basically post four videos a day here on youtube that is designed to help you get better in madden 21 i do tips and tricks videos that's what i do it's all about getting better it's all about sharing different concepts it's all about just learning as much as we can learn about this game so that we can go out on the field and we can execute and win more games together so if you want to be part of my community here and you want to get those tips all you got to do is click that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen uh, and again we do stream every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. And if you do have Madden questions, always shoot me a text. My number's in the top left corner of your screen. It's also in the description. All right, guys. So RPO Sweep Peak. And honestly, I will run the ball out of this about 99% of the time. But what you'll notice is you, when you have RPOs, you can actually hot route and you can actually do things. So what I'll do is I'll take Shepard and I'll put him on a motion. And basically, he's going to act as, a, as an extra blocker for this run. Now, this buck sweep run, I think, is very, very effective. I don't see a lot of people using these power uh, running principles. So what I'll do, basically, is I'll smart route Devontae Adams, and I'll put Shepard in motion. And like I said, about 99% of the time, I'm running the ball. Um, literally running the ball. You're going to get really, really good blocking on this, and you can truly run to win from this little play um, because – you get better blocking on RPO plays, in my opinion, because the way most run defenses are designed to be set up is they are designed essentially out of man-to-man -man coverage, and they're designed with QB spies on the field. So, for example, um, if, if I were to run man, what you'll see here is, and for them to stop RPOs, what they have to do is they have to pass commit. Well, that, what that's going to do is it's going to basically force their defense to effectively, you know, effectively – um, kind of over pursue, kind of over pursue. Uh, and so what's going to happen is when you run that motion uh, out of this, what you'll see here, and we'll just go to a man uh, heavy blitzing with the spies and all that, all that jazz. Uh, and what you'll see here is you're going to motion across here. Now this time at the snap of the ball, I can hit this route to Devontae Adams. If I just wait, one sec here. Sorry, I missed it. Uh, I threw it a little bit too early. But if I just if I just wait for Devontae Adams to come open, what you'll see here is he's actually going to run a play action. And it's going to turn into, oh, no, now I've got a deep dig route that's a 10-yard deep dig route that is really, really, really good. And what you're going to see with this is, again, if you use that motion to Shepard, you now have a man beater back across your body, which there I, I threw. I obviously got to throw out a sack animation. But most of the time, they're going to be pass committing. Most of the time, they're going to be pass committing. What that's going to mean for you is you can make quick reads. Now, if you don't want to smart route the route to Devontae Adams, you don't have to. Um, this is all just about giving him space to work. So you get Shepard over here, and look, right there, I can pop it out quick. Very, very quick. There's not very many zones in the game that are going to stop that. There's not very many man coverages in the game that are going to stop that because of the, the fact that it's that little circle rounded in route. And then what you're pairing it with, though, is you're pairing it with a very, very powerful um, – Oh, whoops, I'm sorry. I forgot to hit X. If you want to hand the ball off real quick, you do want to hit X, okay? Um, you, you do want to hit X. It's not an RPO where the quarterback's just going to run. So literally right here and handoff. And I got two pulling guards going with me. I'm telling you right now, this run's hard to stop. It doesn't matter what run defense they're going to do. We'll just go get some random plays here, and you'll see. The pulling guard um, really adds another layer to this. And then when you add in the fact that you can motion this slot across the formation, get an extra blocker here. Once you hand off, he's going to turn into a blocker. And what I've found is oftentimes it's actually better because he's going to effectively turn into a lead blocker. He's not going to block until you formally hand the ball off. So right here, I'm going to formally hand the ball off. Then he blocks, and you'll see here, there I should have cut it up. Now, it's all about the reading it, right? If the defense goes wide, you cut up. If the defense is inside, you cut out. A lot of this is a little bit of a read and react kind of situation. But I'll tell you right now, you know, heavy blitzes, heavy blitzing run defenses, they're not going to stop this. This is 
this is the the two pulling guards are really going to help with that and then you're going to be able to get on the edge and you're going to be able to make some plays so that when they blitz you you're going to oftentimes run this run outside but when they stay inside um or stay disciplined maybe they're in just a standard drop back zone or something like that um you'll be fine so but it's a buck sweep type of run you got two pulling guards you got a, an additional wide receiver that you can motion over you know this is a really really heavy run uh set uh, and you can do a lot with it. It's going to be a consistent, you know, two to five yards, uh, really. And what's cool is, like I said, you know, it pairs with a really, really good passing concept on that left side, that double uh, in route, that drag. Uh, it's not really a drag route. It's more of like a levels um, in route, but that little dig route. So if they're blitzing you, they're not going to stop it in man coverage. What you'll find is most RPOs, if they blitz you, let's say they blitz you, um, and I try to throw the slant, it's not always there. Um, you'll see here, like, man-to-man -man coverage kind of boxes uh, the slant route. Let me show you that real quick. Whoops, I think I bumped the tie out, timeout button. So we'll come back out in that. Let me see here. Formation, gun doubles, offset, weak, I think. Was it? Yep. Now, what's also really cool, I do want to talk about pointing this out here in just a second, but I did want to show you this. So this is man-to-man -man coverage. We're past committing. We're doing everything we're supposed to do, right? Um, watch what's going to happen on that left side of the field. So I'm going to motion Shepard over. It's going to put a one-on-one -on -one with Devontae Adams. And watch what's going to happen right there. Quick, quick pop. Quick pop, quick, quick pop, quick pop, quick pop. You're going to quick pop pass it. And what they're going to have to do to stop it is they're going to have to pass commit. Well, I'm telling you right now, if they pass commit, this run gets even better. And you can snap the ball like wherever you want. Like you can snap it right here if you want. Um, whoops, I'm sorry. I forgot to hand it off. <laughs> but you, you can get the ball in and out of the running back's hands quick. Um, very, very easily with this. And if they're if they're if they are pass committing, this run will run. I mean, it will run. Now, what's also really cool about this formation is you have the RPO bubble. You see here, I can audible to it with absolutely no steps, and effectively, it's an inside run. It's an inside based running scheme. So you can audible right into the RPO read bubble, and effectively, um, you know, hot you know, pop out the bubble screen. Uh, and again, if they're running a lot of man coverage or they're running a lot of, um, you know, underneath hook zones or whatever, this RPO bubble play is, you know, very, very good, especially if they're blitzing from the edges. Um, you know, and, and one thing that's really cool about it to me is what you could do with this RPO bubble. You can take your, your, your uh, wide receiver over here and bring him in motion and now he's on a, a, a hitch route basically and you've got a little stick concept on that left side of the field attached to a bubble screen so there's a lot you can do with these bubble plays this year um but this rpo zone we our rpo uh base you know this du double pulling guard met it really um it really does a good job now obviously if you if you you know if you hold the ball for too long in the first one you'll get a penalty for them blocking so you do want to kind of keep them quick pop passes but that quick pop pass to Devonte adams i think is very very effective and especially if you can get this receiver out of the way um get him all the way over here quick pop pass because what they're going to do is and I'm, from a user perspective from a user perspective on this, they're going to use the right side. They're either going to they're going to go to the slant route, um, or they're going to go to the run play. You know that that's what they're going to be. That's where they're going to be at. So, you know what's going to happen is it's going to open up windows and throwing lanes and, and passing opportunities for this quick little pop pass right there. That's going to consistently destroy it. So just wanted to break down a little RPO, but getting a lot of questions about that. If you have a Madden question, I do want you to text me. Um, and also, if you want to join my texting membership, my video goes out today. Basically, what my texting membership is, is it is exclusive high-level Madden 21 tips, meaning um, they're longer form in general. Sometimes they're a scheme. Sometimes they're a meta, uh, you know, alternating tip. Sometimes, like today, we're going to be talking about, uh, in this week's tip, we're going to be talking about run defense. We're going to be talking about how do you really lock up the run this year. So we're going to show you how to do that in our texting membership. So if you want to join it, though, it's completely free to join. All you have to do is text me. Uh, again, my number is in the top left-hand corner of your screen. But these videos won't be released uh, to my general YouTube audience. These videos are only going to be released to text members, and they only get released every Monday. So um, if you want to join it, be sure to text me today. When you text me, please let me know your name, okay? 
saying please text me your name so that I can save you in my phone um, that just helps me a little bit know who you are because it is my personal cell phone number so that way I can just kind of get you saved in my contacts that way but anyways guys I want to thank you so much for watching today's video if you haven't joined the discord yet there's a link in the description to be able to do that and we will be live streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time thank you